Come Sephora shopping with me. So in today's video, as you guys read from the title, I'm going to be going to Sephora, picking out some makeup, skincare, self-care, all of that stuff. I already made my last video as a Target Shop With Me video, but you guys really love like these kind of shopping videos, so I thought it'd be fun to kind of like make it into a series. So like maybe you guys can give me like suggestions of like shops and stuff that you want me to go to. Like someone commented and said that they wanted me to go to Ross, and I was thinking like TJ Maxx and all kind of like shops like that. So yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I think that would be so much fun because obviously you guys know me and you know that I love to spend money and any excuse to do so is it's really good. I'm up bright and early this morning. It is actually 9.20 and the Sephora that I'm going to opens at 10 so I thought it'd be fun to like go grab like a coffee or something real quick because I also haven't eaten. I'm gonna go to Starbucks right now. Probably take it to go. I'm not gonna like eat it in there or anything but yeah by that time it should probably be like 10 o'clock and I'll be like the first like person in Sephora but I also forgot that Sephora has the new Rare Beauty lip oils and the Glossier section and that makes me so happy because I never used to like I love the brand Glossier I just like don't buy from their website because I hate paying for shipping and I hate like waiting for stuff so I think that'll be super fun I don't really think a lot of it is gonna be in stock because it's still like relatively new especially like the rare beauty lip oils but but if the Rare Beauty lip oils are in stock, I am definitely going to be purchasing maybe one or two because I've seen so many people like review them and they look really, really good. And I love like good lip products. Like I have so many like lip balms, lip glosses and stuff. It's like kind of a thing that I like to collect. So fingers crossed they're going to be in stock. I don't have high hopes, but you know, we will see. Come and see how Hi, can I do a venti uh, strawberry acai refresher, please? Okay. With no, like, strawberry pieces inside? You said no strawberry pieces? Yes. And okay. then can I have that made with water, not lemonade? Yeah, of course. And then can I also do a turkey bacon cheddar and egg white sandwich, please? Okay. And that will be it. So I got a strawberry acai refresher, but I think, like, there's, like, a slit or something like it's like a crack down the middle so it's like leaking so i had to kind of chug it so it didn't get like all over my car okay so it is 9 55 right now it opens in about five minutes and i'm at like this like shopping mall right now and i don't know if you guys can see but sweet green is about to open i feel like a lot of like the bougie like la influencers go to sweet green it looks really good actually like i'd love to try it Okay, so literally just as I thought, the, the Glossier stuff is like pretty much sold out already. I wanted to get a lip balm, but yeah, um, they're completely gone. And I've seen a bunch of people talk about the After Balm, the Moisturizer Recovery Cream. It looks really good. I kind of want to try it out. Or the Priming Rich Moisturizer also looks super good as well. I've also really wanted to try these Say bronzers. These look so good. But since summer's coming up, I feel like I'm not really going to be using that much makeup besides from like mascara and stuff. And of course, we've all seen these everywhere. These look really good. Like the dupes for the Drunk Elephant. I don't know. They have this one in stock. I don't know if it's just the highlighter or if it's like the actual like thing that goes on like your whole face. And of course, they're out of the lip oils. I honestly did not think they were going to have them. I honestly did want to try this one. This one looks really nice, but they're out of stock. So we're definitely not going to be doing that. And I've also wanted to try their Silky Touch highlighter for a long time too, but they still have not stocked up on on these every time i come this for they're always out of these ones and as you guys know i've talked about this brand a couple of times the pharmacy brand i love their honey halo cream it works so well for my skin i'm like almost out right now and i'm kind of contemplating on getting it but as you guys know i love trying like new moisturizers and stuff but if you guys need a good recommendation i always recommend the honey halo it's it's the best in my opinion 
And then they also have a cleansing balm. I love cleansing balms. I just never use them. And I also got like a little sample one of these and it was really good. I liked it a lot. I just feel like I've never used it. But Sephora is fully stocked on Sol de Janeiro right now. And then they also have a new scent. I've never seen this one before. I love the packaging. This is just so cute. I actually really like this. I was gonna get a refill of the pink one, but this one, this one smells really good. I can't even think of what it smells like, but it literally, it kind of smells like the beach almost. I was gonna get this mascara, but I have it in like the little size, but I'm almost out and I really like this mascara a lot, but they're all out. The only one that they have is the volumizing one. So that kind of sucks. But I've also wanted to try this skin tint from them. But Summer Fridays also has one that I think I would rather try. But I just love the cute little bottle. And then they have a bunch of eye tints as well. This kind of reminds me of the Glossier ones that they have. And I really like this like purple shade. That is so cute, but I also would never wear this either. And this is another brand that I've been wanting to try for a while, the First Aid Beauty. I've heard that their ingrown hair pads are super good and work really well as well. I don't really get this a lot so i won't need it but it looks really good and i feel like a lot of people really rave about how good this actually is but if i were to get something i'd get the ultra repair cream a lot of people also talk about how good this is too but i like the kiehl's one i feel like it gives me that kind of vibe and then they also have a cute little eye cream too but out of every single lip product i've tried the laneige one is so good but they animal test so i don't always buy this i already have one that's pretty full and i've talked about these masks a lot with you guys and these are one of my favorites they used to be 550 but they went up to six so inflation i guess but one of my favorites is definitely the nourishing and soothing one the coconut this one's really good too this I don't know how you say it, like way. I think. This brand I also want to try so bad as well because I feel like I should definitely up my hair care game because I'm using Pantene right now and I don't think it's the best. It smells really good, but like I just can never justify spending like 32 bucks on like a shampoo and a conditioner. I love the way that the, um, what is this called? Merit? Yes. The Merit concealer looks. I've seen a lot of people also talk about this, but the blush is what I really wanted to get, but they're out. This reminds me of the Dior lip oil. And then I had no idea they had a tinted lip oil. I'm still upset that they don't have the Rare Beauty ones, but what can you do? And this is also so small too. It's literally like this big. That's actually really bad. And for 24 bucks, no way. I just, I cannot understand what the point of this is. Like this just looks gross to me. I don't know. But this blush shade right here is so pretty. I have so much blush already. I do not need more. And then we also have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. I, I think, are these different? I can't tell. These might be the same exact thing. Oh, this is the vanilla one. Okay, they're both vanilla. I want to try this, see how it is. Get like a little tester thing. I feel like a lot of people are so right about loving this product because I just tried it on with like a little sample like spoolie thing. I love it. I really wanted to get the pink one though but they're out of stock but it's whatever. I'll probably come back for it. And then they have a whole another section over here for the Say brand. The spicy shade also looks so much fun. I've never seen like a burnt orange shade like this. And then they have a little moisturizer too. This looks kind of fun. I love how cute it is. And then if you guys need a really good lip balm recommendation, I always recommend the Sugar Advanced Lip Therapy. This one is the one I have. I feel like they all kind of do the same thing, but this one like is supposedly like supposed to take care of your lips really well. But I've never tried any of their other shades. I've just only tried this one right here. And then their Rose Face Cream looks super nice as well. I love face creams so much. I also want to try the caffeine eye cream from the Inky List. A lot of people say how good the Inky List is. It's kind of like the ordinary and it's super cheap and affordable for the people that actually like don't have a lot of money to spend on skincare. So I think I might pick this one up. And then my friend is also obsessed with this brand right here, the Glow Recipe. I picked up the Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I got the little one just because in case I don't like it. And then she also tells me how much she loves the toner. I already have a toner at home. I don't really want to get another one. But when I run out of my other toner, I think I'm going to get this one. This one looks really nice as well. 
And then Charlotte Tilbury also came out with the matte blush. It looks really good as well. This pink highlighter looks so cute. Oh my god, I really want it. Do they even have it in stock? Nope. Okay. And then this is another skin tint I want to try. I want to try the Fenty Beauty one. I've heard a lot of good things about this as well, but I really want to try their contour stick. I feel like they're always sold out of this as well, but I don't really know what shade I'd be because like I'm getting tanner, so I don't want to get something too light or something too dark. And then the highlighter sticks are also so cute as well. I don't know about you guys, but I kind of hate the way that these look. I feel like they look kind of like something Elf would come out with. I don't know. Seems like a lot of people get the banana bread one, I think, if I'm right. But this one looks sold out, so I don't know. Okay, so this actually is such a good deal. $30 for all of this. I think these are all the mini products, though. I really don't see why they'd put, like, the full size in there. And I love this little, like, yellow bag as well. And then since summer's coming up, I feel like this would be super good to, like, kind of carry around with. This container is definitely becoming trendy now. The same one with, like, the drunk elephant. It is really cute, though. I like how you can, like, mix your products in here. And I really want to get the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, but for $70 or $85, I just can't but I know it's so good though. And these acne dots are supposedly really good. My friend has them and she loves them as well. So I got um, my Sephora bag. I spent about $150, which isn't that bad, honestly, for Sephora. But I'm gonna go home, show you guys a haul of everything that I got. But I really hope that you guys could hear me in that store because I got there like as soon as it opened, but then like literally the whole of like the population came into that store. Okay, so ignore the state of my room right now. It's in the process of getting cleaned, but I wanted to show you guys everything that I got from Sephora. First one is the Supergoop Everyday SPF Favorites Kit, and then in it, it has the Unseen... What? The Unseen Sunscreen, the Glow Screen. I already have one of the Glow Screen, but it's almost out. And then the glow stick, so I guess you just like rub it like over your face, I guess. And then it also has the setting mist. I'm so excited to try both of these, like the glow stick and the setting mist. It looks really good. I also got the Sol de Janeiro Rio Radiance. This is new. I saw it and I smelled it. It literally smells like the beach. It smells so good. And then to try, I got the Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. As you guys know, I love moisturizers so much and I'm always like, you know, trying to find new ones that are also really good as well. So I'm, I'm probably gonna end up trying this for like a couple weeks or so. And then in like a future video, I'll let you guys know how I feel about this. I also see a lot of people talk about the Inky List. So many people really rave about that brand mostly because it's like actually good skincare for an affordable price and i love that I, I like how they don't charge like 30 bucks for an eye cream like this eye cream was like 10 bucks and it looks really good so i'm excited to try it and then the last thing that i got is the summer fridays lip butter balm i really wanted to get the pink one i asked if they had it they said no so i just settled on the vanilla beige one i tried this one on in the store and it smelled and felt really good on my lips i didn't end up getting too much but i got like a decent amount of things and i'm really happy with everything that i got so yeah that is my sephora haul and that was my sephora shopping video i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as you guys know i really love filming the shopping videos and you guys really love them too but yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and i hope to see you guys all in my next video bye